What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and in today's video I've got something a little different. Uh, this video I'm, I'm starting a, a new series on this channel where uh, I'm gonna propose show ideas. So this video will be uh, well, I'm calling it Star Wars Adventures, and uh, basically, it's a show set in the original trilogy era, but it's like it's going to be like Clone Wars, in that there are going to be arcs, you know, like groups of episodes that tell a, a story, and we're not just following Han, Luke, and Leia. Basically, we are, you know, you're going to get other characters. We're going to get some bad guys. We're going to get some good guys. You know, it's not just all about the Rebel Alliance. And uh, just just to let you know the, the way I've broken it down, there will be this show will be four seasons long. The first three seasons will be set between A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back, you know, the next movie. And then the last season, season four, will be set between Empire and Return of the Jedi. Like this video, and uh, then please consider liking and subscribing for more Star Wars videos like this. If you have any ideas that would make this show better, like if you have any ideas that, you know, oh, well, th it would be cool to do this with Luke, by all means, put it down in the comment section. And uh, one other thing, um, there will be, there's, there's going to be Star Wars Expanded Universe or Star Wars Legends references in this however that there might be there is probably a possibility that i'm not acknowledging stories that happened in legends that happened in legends so um in those scenarios it's basically i haven't read and watched and done everything in star wars you know so there's comics i haven't read there's books i haven't read so, but now you might say, why haven't you, why not wait and read all that stuff and then make this video? Then you would, you know, but, uh, I really wanted to make this video. I got, the, I got the idea to make it and I really wanted to act upon it. So if there's discrepancies with legend stuff, that's why I will be, I'll probably readdress this idea later on with, um, once I've read more of Legends, and if I get enough ideas in the comment section down below, I'll, I'll remake this video with your ideas. So there's that. All right. I've talked enough. Let's get to the actual meat of this video. So moving on. Season one will be 22 episodes and nine arcs. The first arc the first arc will be three episodes, and we follow Han, Luke, and Leia as they go to Solist, the home of the Celestans, you know, Nyan Nub's character, um, and, you know, basically do some recruiting for the Rebellion to grow it. And in this, the bad guys for this arc would be Imperial Commandos. Not just any Imperial Commandos, they would be Delta Squad. And uh, if you don't know Delta Squad, they're, uh, they are actually clones, clone commandos from, you know, the Clone Wars. The second arc would be three episodes, and we, uh, we would follow Darth Vader as he discovers a message that leads him to find a Jedi. And this Jedi would be Oppo Rancisis, you know, uh, basically he's a snake guy, you know, he's a this Pacian, this, uh, it's really, it, it's kind of hard to pronounce, but yeah, basically he's basically like Medusa, but he's a Jedi, you know, he's a snake guy and, uh, yeah, you know, he's one of the last surviving members of the Jedi council. Cause he, you know, he was on the Jedi council and this encounter takes place on Dantooine and, you know, they obviously duel on that and we flip between, Oppo Rancis and Oppo Rancisis and Darth Vader's point of view to kind of the third arc would be two episodes. Uh, Luke finds a Jedi repository on Surya, and Surya is the home planet of Jedi Kiadi Mundi, 
you know, so basically the guy with the really tall head. And Luke learns more Jedi knowledge here. The fourth arc would be two episodes, and in it we have uh, Han and Chewie and Leia. They get stranded on Nar Shadda, and uh, after going there to meet with an informant who has intel about an Imperial factory that is the target of a of a rebel attack, basically, and they run they run into a Delta Squad again, and you know kind of deal with that. The fifth arc has three episodes, and in it we have Boba Fett and Bosk. They team up to hunt a value a valuable target. They chase their target through several locations, you know, including Corellia, Fondor, and some others. Those are just a couple of examples. And uh, the sixth arc is uh, two episodes. Uh, in it, we follow Darth Vader as he puts down a small insurrection in space. You know, basically, it's it's, a, it's a, essentially rebels amassing a little fleet in space, and Vader takes out this little thing. The seventh arc is two episodes, and we get to see what Ahsoka is up to at this time. She goes to a new planet and discovers a dark secret. The eighth arc is two episodes. Luke goes back to Tatooine to help some farmers he knew uh, deal with some uh, Tusken Raider problems. And he also checks out Obi-Wan's hut to see if there's any anything of interest there that he could use for Jedi knowledge and stuff like that. And he also checks the Lars homestead. He does manage to find a few odds and ends at Obi-Wan's house, um, you know, like a journal that Obi-Wan was taking the ninth arc uh is three episodes and in it we have luke han and leia they go to mon cala the home of you know the mon calamari and the quarren you know so admiral akbar and the the squid people you know the tentacle faced people that's the quarren uh and they go there to strengthen the bond between the people of mon cala and the rebellion uh Mon Kella is attacked by the Imperials, and we are introduced to this one of the series' main villains that I've invented for this, and I've uh, named him Admiral Thorvald. And this guy, you know, he's he's an admiral. Season two, you have uh, twenty-two episodes, eight arcs, and the first arc is three episodes, and we follow the rebels, you know, Han, Luke, and Leia, as they find a temporary base on Gleansom, and this planet is the home of the Nautilans, you know, Kit Fisto, he's a Nautilan, and they fight some pirates led by Hondo Anaka to clear out so they can have a base there. Arc 2 is two episodes, and we have Cad Bane hunts Boba Fett, he wants to see who the best bounty hunter is. And then you have Arc 3, which is two episodes. Vader takes out a usurper on Mustafar. Arc 4 is three episodes. In it, you have Cad Bane and Boba Fett have a competition to see who can bring in the most bounties in a month. Arc 5 is three episodes. Luke, Han, and Leia go to Yavin 4 to see if they can recover anything from the base. They encounter Admiral Thorvald and... Delta Squad, and Luke feels the force on Yavin 4. He has a vision of the Old Republic, uh, you know, when the temple was built, and, you know, stuff like that, and, yeah. You learn a little bit more about Yavin 4, essentially. Arc 6 is two episodes, and we have Ahsoka and Rex stop a Sith cult on Dromund Cass. Arc 7, two episodes. Han and Chewie do a job to try and gain allies for the Rebellion. They have to deal with Forlom and Zuckus. So Forlom and Zuckus are the bad guys for that storyline. Arc 8 is four episodes. And in it, we have the Rebel base on Gleansom is attacked by Admiral Thorvald. And we are introduced to a new force-wielding, lightsaber-wielding, a villain in what I am calling Caduceus. 
and basically uh, he's a wannabe Sith. He is not an Inquisitor. He is a yeah, he's a wannabe Sith essentially. So uh, season three is twenty one episodes, ten arcs. The first arc is two episodes, and we flash back to Leia on Alderaan, and you know we see her duties on Alderaan and meet a friend who uh, is leaving Alderaan to study elsewhere. So we see Leia train and learn from Bail Organa to you know become a senator and learn all the senator stuff. But before her friend leaves, Leia decides that she and her will go on a little go on a little uh, trip, you know, in case because it'll be a while before they see each other again, so they're going to go on a fun little trip. But, you know, Leia, Leia doesn't want, you know, guards and all that to accompany her because, you know, she is she is an important person on Alderaan, and normally there would be guards, but she manages to sneak off and go on the trip. Uh, but the trip goes south when they are kidnapped, uh, but they do manage to, you know, evade their captors. Uh, uh, the You know, it, it's Hondo's pirate band again. You know, Hondo, he's at it again. Uh, they do escape, and they head back to the city, and, you know, yeah. The second arc is two episodes. Uh, we follow Han and Chewie and Leia. They're checking out locations for a, a new rebel base, basically. You know, they check out several planets. Then they go to uh, Ord Mantel to see if there is a viable place there. They manage to find a decent location in the mountains, but a bounty hunter looking to collect on Han Solo foils that. So they manage to deal with the bounty hunter, but the base goes awry because, you know, Imperials come, yeah, so, yeah. Arc 3 is two episodes, and Luke looks for more pilots to replenish Rogue Squadron losses that they've had over several M Imperial entanglements. They have a brief encounter, um, you know, the, the pilots with the Empire, and they dogfight near Corellia, where Luke is doing some recruiting. So... Arc 4 is two episodes. Vader goes to Naboo to eliminate a potential Jedi, a rumor of a potential Jedi. And, you know, he also visits Padme's grave. Arc 5 is two episodes. While on a mission, Luke crashes on Felucia, and he finds an unlikely ally in Dash Rendar, a smuggler looking for rare plants to sell for large profit, as Felucia is a very heavy plant world. You know, it's it's the planet where the Twi'lek Jedi Ayla Secura gets shot at during Order 66 and Revenge of the Sith. So, you know, these two help each other to survive the hostile wilderness of Felucia. So, arc 6 is two episodes. Boba Fett and a new bounty hunter are in competition to bring in Hondo Onaka for the Black Sun, as uh, Hondo has been harming their crime profits. Arc 7 is two episodes, and the Rebels find Hoth for their base location, you know, and it's a cold but isolated place. It's a good place to set up their base. And in this, they deal with Wampas and... And the apex predator on Hoth, the subterranean cave snake, a gargantuan serpent that usually stays deep in the ground. So that's that's what they have to deal with while setting up the Echo Base. Arc 8 is two episodes. Luke discovers a hidden vault of Jedi knowledge, but Caduceus, you know, the wannabe Sith, follows, and Luke only gets away by outsmarting Caduceus as Luke's lightsaber skills are... Not up to snuff. Arc 9 is three episodes, and Rex meets Luke, Han, and Leia on a mission to halt the Imperial shipyards at Kuat Drive Yards. 
So, and then arc 10 is two episodes. Vader orders several probe droids he sent out to track down the rebels. One captain reports that he has found rebels on Geonosis. And he sends the footage of his probe droid to Vader to show that he's not lying. And there is some rebel activity in the area, so Vader goes with his 501st. And while there is a small rebel base on the planet, it's not the main base. Uh, Vader, you know, deals with the rebels fairly easily. And uh, he returns, and he's not pleased. Uh, so he eliminates the captain that reported this to him uh, by way of long-term, long-distance uh, force choke. You know, he gets demoted. Season 4. Arc 1 is two episodes. Luke and Obi-Wan, they're training. But Luke says he needs saber training as... He lost to Darth Vader pretty easily, and if he has to face Darth Vader eventually again, he would like to hone his saber skills. So Obi-Wan sends him to Quinlan Voss if he's still alive, it's, it's a rumor, on Utapau. Arc 2 is two episodes. Vader goes to Black Sun to keep them in check. Kind of do, do a little checkup to make sure that everything is going... Arc 3 is three episodes. Leia and Chewie and Lando lead rebel forces at the Battle of Tanab. Arc 4, two episodes. Luke continues his saber training with Quinlan Voss. They go help some Force-sensitive kids evade the Empire. Arc 5 is two episodes. Jabba the Hutt puts a bounty on Chewie, and Dengar attempts to collect. Arc 6, three episodes. Vader and the Emperor go to Korriban to deal with some fools who want to bring back Darth Bane from the dead. And you know, if you don't know, Darth Bane is the Sith that insta uh, that put into place the rule of two, you know, for the Sith, the Master and Apprentice. So he's kind of a, he is important, you know, but uh, yeah. Arc 7 is two episodes. Rex finds uh, another clone, Thatcher, on Coralag. They embark to rescue some other clones imprisoned on a prison asteroid called the Eternal Depths. Arc 8 is two episodes. Luke and Quinlan part ways as Luke reunites with Leia and Lando as they go to Solist and help the rebels there fight off pirates, led by once again Hondo. Uh, Arc nine is two episodes. We follow the rebels, the rebel strike team that steals the Death Star two plans, and then Arc ten is four episodes, and this will be an adaptation of the Legends book Shadows of the Empire. And for those who don't know what this is, the basically this story, this story tells how they put together that plan to rescue Han. It, it's, it's, it'll help explain all that and kind of flesh that out. So, yeah. And uh, that's, that's the show. Uh, yeah. So uh, what did you think of this show? Uh, if you have any uh, ideas for that would make this show better, uh, you please put them in the comments down below. And uh, yeah. You can let me know if you like this video idea, because I'd, I'd love to do more shows, so if this is a good good idea, then, uh, well, you can say in the comments, give the video a like some, somehow, and, uh, yeah, so until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.